Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Right now I'm filling up my uh, water at this beautiful spring in Oregon. The road is super loud and the spring is super loud, so stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how you can transform your health in a super easy, simple way. So yeah, it's one of the most important things you can do for your health. Hey guys, sorry it was a little loud over there at the spring. We came to a more quiet location. I filled up my bottles with some nice fresh spring water. Uh, most of the time you want to use glass, but I use some BPA plastic here too. We'll get to that. What I want to talk to you about is why spring water is the best water that you can drink for the healing journey. First of all, why is it important for us to have clean water? Because water is the elixir of life. We are made up of water and it fuels every cellular process inside of us. So it's super important to be getting the best water. So right now, the masses, the most, most of the population is drinking toxic tap water. Okay, tap water contains chlorine and fluoride. Fluoride is actually an aluminum byproduct. So uh, when they made aluminum, uh, Alcoa, the ma massive aluminum manufacturing company in the United States, they had all of this aluminum left over, fluoride left over after the manufacturing process and they didn't know what to do with it. And they couldn't dump it in the landfills because it was too toxic and they couldn't dump it in the oceans. So what did they do? They hired Edward Bernays, the magic uh, man of advertising, to convince everybody that fluoride was good for our teeth. So they hired doctors, they, they said, hey, we need to find a way to, to, to sell this fluoride stuff, make it good for us. And they hired doctors and eventually after enough studies were done, they found that, oh, by the way, it helps with this situation. And it, can make, it could make your teeth stronger one out of every million times. So um, basically, instead of paying to get rid of it, they are now selling it to municipalities, dumping it in our wa water and putting it in our teeth. So that's fluoride. Chlorine's a whole other animal. Long story short, these are two neurotoxins that are in our tap water. Okay. So then you think bottled water is the solution, like Poland Spring and stuff like that. Very false. Bottled water is toxic with BPA, toxic with chemicals. It's not true spring water the way you just saw me fill this up. Um, and it's just, uh, you're not really doing yourself a favor by drinking it. So what is, uh, a good alter what are good alternatives while on the healing journey? You have a big Berkey water filter, which I talk about a lot, but that's a second place winner. Okay. That's a second place. The grand first prize in terms of water, the best water you can drink is going to be natural spring water from the earth. Okay, <clears throat> my body started telling me that the Big Berkey wasn't enough for me. It wasn't good enough for me. That I needed more. I needed stuff more alive, chi, more life force in my water. So I <clears throat> started buying spring water from the grocery store. And I just felt more crisp, more alive, more refreshing. And I really enjoyed it. Um, so don't worry if you're not at the point yet where you can't you know, feel these things as you detox, as you start loving yourself, cleaning the junk, you will start to get in touch with your body and to be able to start receiving these types of signals and messages as you develop a connection with your body. So spring water, like the stuff that you just saw me fill up with, is the number one best water for the healing journey. It contains microalgae, it contains microbes, dissolved solids and minerals, uh, that are essential for our development and our biological processes and our life, okay? Um, this is the type of water that we are meant to drink, you know, as a human, as an animal, as a human creature. This is the type of water that we are meant to drink. So, what is a spring, right? A spring is basically, as you can see in the last place we were shooting the video in, where that beautiful spring was, it's generally on the bottom of a valley or a mountain or some type of ele uh, elevation of land. And what happens is when it rains, the water seeps into the soil. And once it goes below the soil, it gets a to a layer of rock. 
and some of these rocks are impervious, okay, water cannot go through, and some of these rocks are permeable. And those permeable rocks, the water travels through until it reaches a layer of clay. Okay, once the water reaches this level of clay, this is the natural filtration process of the earth, the substrate of the earth, the clay. This is what's filtering, not only filtering the bad stuff, but adding beneficial nutrients and minerals to the water. So it reaches that clay, it can't go any further, and then it starts traveling downhill and where it fills up in an aquifer. Okay, an aquifer is like a little pocket of water. Basically, God, the universe, designed these aquifers to perfectly nourish us and, fe and, and fe fuel us with beautiful, uh, mineral-rich water from the earth. So these aquifers, the water fills up, and eventually uh, it fills up so much to the point where it comes back up through the earth's surface. And that's when people will find water, start, you know, they, they'll, they'll set up pipes and they'll set, set up a, a little fixture so that the water can seamlessly come out. Okay, so that's what we just saw. So, the awesome thing about these aquifers is that a lot of them have been around since before man started fucking up the surface of the earth. Some of these aquifers are thousands of years old, which means the water is thousands of years old, which is amazing. Instead of this, you know, you want to go as deep as possible. The deeper the aquifer, the older the aquifer, the better the water is going to be, the cleaner the earth was. So, uh, you know, a couple more things. Some people have a hesitation to drink spring water because there's insects and there's, uh, you know, all kinds of creatures and plants and leaves and all that stuff in the spring or around the spring or uh, in the earth. And this is part of what we actually need. Stuff like soil-based organisms, fulvic acid, these are supplements that are found in the natural humic decomposition of the earth anyway, okay? So the supplements that you're buying in stores are actually found in the beautiful decomposition of the earth anyway. So the water being filtered through that decomposition uh, and, and around that decomposition is actually providing us with more nutrients, more, you know, fulvic, humic acid, stuff like this in the water, uh, which makes it that much more powerful and, and, and uh, beneficial for detoxification and life. So how do you do it? Most important thing that you probably were waiting all these seven minutes to, to listen to. Uh, okay, basically what you're going to do is you're going to get a five-gallon carboy. It's, carboys are something that you find uh, in a, a brew, a brewing stations. They, they sell carboys. Or you can just get one-gallon glass jugs. If you want to use BPA-free plastic, that's not ideal, but it gets the job done. Um, so you get the five-gallon carboys. Find a spring. Findaspring.com. As simple as that. Findaspring.com. And you go on findaspring.com. You search your area. They're all over the country, all over the world for that matter. Um, and uh, I do believe find a spring is only in the United States. I'm not sure. Um, but find a spring in your area, drive to it, and fill up that five-gallon jug, you know, once a week or however often you have to do it. Um, and free. And it's an amazing way to kickstart your health. I think this alone can make uh, allow people to make huge transformations with their health. What we are, what we eat, we are what we drink, and uh, this water becomes you. It becomes your blood. It becomes your your cells and your life and your thoughts. So, uh, drink high quality water. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.